This is, as I said, the first Sunday of Advent. It is the Prophets Sunday and also the Sunday of Hope in Advent. And so we're inviting the Verbergs to come forward and light the first candle. Oh, that you would burst from the heavens and come down. How the mountains would quake in your presence. As fire causes words, wood to burn and water to boil, your coming would make the nations tremble. Then your enemies would learn the reason for your fame. When you came down long ago, you did awesome deeds beyond our highest expectations. And oh, how the mountains quaked. For since the world began, no ear has heard, and no eye has seen a God like you, who works for those who wait for him. You welcome those who gladly do good. You follow godly ways. But you have been very angry with us, for we are not godly. We are constant sinners. How can people like us be saved? We are all inf infected and impure with sin. When we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but filthy rags. Like autumn leaves, we wither and fall, and our sins sweep us away like the wind. Yet no one calls on our name, on your name, or pleads with your mercy. Or, therefore, you have turned away from us and turned us over to our sins. And yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are the potter. We are all formed by your hand. Don't be angry with us, Lord. Please don't remember our sins forever. Look at us, we pray, and see that we are all your people. That was from Isaiah 64. Let us pray. Father God, we eagerly await your coming. And we look forward to celebrating another year of Christmas. That may be a little different this year because of COVID, but it will be Christmas nonetheless. And it will be the same in our hearts. And we rejoice that you sent your son to take away all our sins. And we are so thankful and so we await your coming with thankful, grateful hearts as we celebrate this first Sunday of Advent and Lord's Supper this morning as well. We just thank you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 